a person like me, and everybody was that an adventurous spirit. You remember the adventurous spirit? I wonder what's on the other side over there. Y'all ain't never been on? No, man. That was the shit. Now they tuned it up so fast, you get on the plane and go over there. They want everything rapid, 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 like you're trying to kill you or something. You get on the plane and go over there. It's still an adventure, but it's bullshit. Think of an adventure, you actually going through each state, each city, walking and seeing new animals. Oh, I ain't never seen that animal before. The fuck is that? Actually, adventure, they're taking the adventure away from you. They say, we already adventured. This is what we came up with. Ain't nothing else out there. You motherfuckers stay in your motherfucking house and watch your TV and eat that food and die. We already ventured that way. Ain't nothing else to do. Only thing to do now is to make bigger shit. Bigger bombs, bigger guns. I showed you the AA-12, the new guns they came out with. All we trying to do is make shit bigger. And remember, the people in control is going to flip that gun on you. They're making it for you, because every time they make something that has to do with destruction or anything like that, you have to ask yourself, who's the enemy? I believe in peace and love. Who don't believe in peace and love, and who is the nigga or the other motherfucker on the other side who don't believe in peace and love? What is there besides peace and love, peoples? I mean, besides peace and love, what is there? Where does the violence come from? Because a motherfucker is a different color? Because a motherfucker carry a, a different type of energy than you do? Are you, are you fucking serious? You telling me motherfuckers is dying out here in these streets because of the color of another motherfucker's eyes and because another motherfucker come for, from another place and don't look the same as the other person? You motherfuckers must have lost your goddamn minds and think you're going to have me Go through this motherfucking shit. I mean, like, like it's a motherfucking. Uh, uh, uh. Yeah, I'm gonna tell you something. Yeah, I tell you something. You got me fucked up. I done lost a lot of homies, nigga. Your bread neighborhood. Rest in peace. End in peace, nigga. I done lost a lot of homies. Terrell, rest in peace. Best friend, rest in peace. I done lost. A lot of homies over bullshit. Over bullshit. Nigga, I like to kick it. You know what I mean? We was having fun. We could have had that shit all the way out. You know what I mean? Different wives, different people, different meeting different people, learning different languages. I mean, what happened to that? Why are they suppressing things that's natural? You feel what I'm saying? It's a suppression of things that come natural, they're trying to hold it and say, well, we found this out first. Uh, you want it, I have to sell it to you because I found it out first. That's a devil, people. Listen, ever you run across some shit like that, I found it out first. So now I'm going to have to sell it to you. That's a devil and that's a devilish act. Simplicity is a motherfucker, man, I'm telling you. I shoot you no bullshit. Simplicity is a motherfucker. Alright. Let me see what kind of what else I got for you. We gotta just be talking. Just say cool, pictures. Just say cool, pictures. Oh, look at this. It says there. Mozambique, a land of contrast. I'm guessing contrast means. Uh, I'm guessing contrast means different colors. Look at that. Oh, <laughs> 
shit out there oh. once it hits me I can transvert it <clears throat> you see what I'm saying y'all can do the same shit it's just uh, probably most of y'all systems is fucked up flush your goddamn colon out get that gallstones and shit out your goddamn uh... oh no you know what I got something for it uh, mind walk this is a movie that uh, Brother V hooked me up to it. I mean, hit me to. Uh, it was called Mind Walk. I downloaded it, and, and y'all need to check it out, man. I'm going to give you a, a clip of uh, the talk. And um, watch, watch this. That one like this. walking on the beach and then just talking about life and the situations of life and how shit is so fucked up. Me, I'm a beast slayer. I come to slay the beast. So if you're on the beast's side, when I come, that's on you. That's on you. But anyway, I just had to throw that out there. This is a trap. I'm gonna get to it. Move it straight to it. You give that up for good? I'm not giving it to me. We'll do this ah. before we talk. Watch. Ah. We'll get to a good conversation. Okay. This is an interruption. Right here. Can't you just feel the place? That's exactly what I've been trying to tell this long head. Is that? Right here. We'll Take it nice. It's like an inmate. Oh, well, no. The children don't. Right here. Check it out. Listen carefully. Listen carefully. We're just going to show you a snippet. You go download it and watch it yourself. And I'll show you how to download movies for free in a minute. After this. I'll show you how to download movies. Well, let's take the population problem. You can't solve it by looking at different forms of birth control in isolation. Research has proven again and again that the most effective form of birth control is not a pill. It's economic and social gains which will reduce the desire to large families. Do you know that in our world every day 40,000 children die from malnutrition and preventable diseases? That's every other second. Now, now, now. That's how niggas from the hood is now. Now, and now. Isolation. They're part of a whole system involving the economics, involving the environment, and more specifically, involving high levels of third world debt. How's that? The burden of frenzy borrowing is not falling on those with foreign bank accounts. Or on those who created the imbalance, the burden is falling on the already deprived. Three years ago, President Nairere asked the question, must we starve our children to pay our debts? That question has been answered in practice. Right. The answer has been yes, because since he asked, hundreds and thousands 
thousands of little children in the third world have given their lives to pay their complex debts. And millions more are still paying interest for their malnourished minds and bodies. Oh. Take Brazil. Do you know that they are destroying the Amazon rainforest at the rate of one football field a second? Now, now, now. Why? They're trying to pay their national debts with cattle and land speculation. They don't even have time to sell the timber, so they're sending fire to the woods. And our barren forests are one of the main causes of the global warming, the greenhouse effect. And in the meantime, we are pouring our money into the arms race. See, you cannot look at one single of our global problems in isolation, trying to understand it. And Talk. Y'all better get this, suck this up. Oh, shoot. Which one am I on this one? So, of course, you can fix the fragment of a piece, but it will deteriorate the second later because what it was connected to has been ignored. You have to change everything together at the same time. Same time, Ideals, people. You heard that? Institutions, their values. All of this sounds kind of familiar. Everything. You know each other? Oh, I'm finna get off in your ass. Oh, all right. What do I do? However you want to do it. Yes, the problems are complex, but you're just looking at the dark side because so is our capacity to respond, isn't it? Communications, databanks, technology. We already have the tools to deal with a lot of these problems, even if they are more complex. The devil's puppet right here. Themselves, the eternal
spot do you want? Hers, obviously. She's intelligent, gracious, and more attractive. Listen, Jack, I'd like to get back to the systems. You know, you called me dishonest. Oh, no, no, no. Yeah, let's talk about the gallbladder again. Let's say the gallbladder is out and the pain is gone. But what about the stress that might have brought the illness on? If that stress persists, he's probably going to get sick again. Or let's say he had changed his nutrition much earlier and done some exercise. He may never have developed the gallstones in the first place. See, a little health education might have been much cheaper That's than right. operation. A lot less painful, too. But our system doesn't encourage prevention. It encourages intervention. Okay, you're not disingenuous, but to blame all this on a French philosopher who's been dead for 300 years is not a little out of proportion. Maybe even a little eccentric? No. Not if I'm right. See, my point isn't to condemn the court's thinking. It's simply to recognize its limitations might have been extremely useful to perceive the world as a machine for 300 years, but that perception today is not only inaccurate, it's actually harmful. We need a new vision of the world. What's that quotation? It's foolish for a society to try to cling to its old ideas and new times, just as it's foolish for a grown man to try to squeeze into the coat that fit him in his youth. Something like that. Thomas Jefferson. Maybe you're not crazy. No, she ain't crazy. I'm gonna stop it right there. I don't know, Sonia. This new vision of the world might just be some sort of millennium madness, some kind of saint fight as the dance of the mind as we approach the year 2000. No, everybody's aware of that. As we approach the year 2000. All right, now, ladies. Now, you heard what the woman said, right? She is what you call a bird of my feather. She flocks with me, so I would take her with me. Only take minds like that with me. Minds like his, that's the minds that we have to separate from. The political mind. The, uh, whatever, y'all know what type of mind that is. You can listen to him while he talk. He always got something to say about something where he just heard what she said, blew his stuff out the water. Like, they playing with your, your knowledge, dog. They playing with your knowledge. Hey, y'all seen my gallstone video? Go on my page, check out my gallstone video. I did that about five years ago. Look at the gallstone. Now, why would I have my gallbladder taken out when I could have drawn some olive oil oil on some CKLS pills, went to the bathroom, and lost all the weight and lost and got all the stuff and cleaned my whole body. Now, if you can clean your body, if you can destroy and then repair certain stuff, I mean, you can live for a long time. That's the secret. That's what they're not going to tell you. You can live for a long time. But if your society is preventing you from living a long time, because you might get popped by a stray shot, you see what I'm saying? Tell them to come get you some other type of way. So, we have to get rid of the guns. We definitely have to get rid of those. Because the only thing persists about guns is that you're going to make a gun, I'm going to make a bigger gun. You're going to see my gun, you're going to make a bigger gun than that. You're going to see his gun, he's going to make a bigger gun than your gun. So, before these guns get too big, like we already got nuclear weapons and shit, before they get too big, we got to take them out with love and righteousness and show these people that we don't need no guns. Because it's more of us, it's more minds than it is material on this earth. The mind has to destroy the material and know that that material is destructive to the future of the earth. You got to know that. That is very destructive. I got to get rid of that. It's destructive. I got to get rid of it. You see what I'm saying, Peach? She has taken some real, real, real knowledge. And if you really watch this whole movie, man, she really, she breaks it down, man. I'm going to let it run for a little more. See what they might say. But that one first part, that's what I wanted you to hear right there. We can 
make ourselves extinct at the press of a button. And we're soiling every square foot of land, sea, and air. That water looks clean, but it's not, is it? Not really. Nothing is. The English Channel is one of the most polluted bodies of water in the world. And the oysters around here are famous, aren't they? Mm -hmm. So they won't be safe in. Not only that, this water is radioactive, contaminated by nuclear particles, you might tell me. Yeah, I read about that too. Politicians can read. They know all about these things. Some of us think about them every day. I know I do. But we have to deal with a different set of constraints different kinds of interdependence than the ones you're talking about. But let's say it turns out to be true. But what you said is true. Cattle are brutally treated, loaded up with chemicals, too much red meat is bad for you, and the landscape's being wrecked by overgrazing. Let's say all that turns out to be true. So for good health and a hundred other reasons, I help enact a tax on the consumption of red meat. The way we tax tobacco to make people think twice about that kind of thing. Wonderful idea. We could do cancer and heart research for the revenue. Yes, and I'd have 50 lobbyists pounding on my door, while 100 different meat producers, political action committees, poured money into my opponent's campaign, and my switchboard was lit up all day long with calls from senators and representatives and government of all meat producing states. But okay, so I need just for you, let's say that I take all of them. As Sam Raven said, every once in a while, a man ought to do something, because it's right. But if, on top of that, I come out against a few weapons programs and try to do something about acid rain and sponsor a bill supporting increased funding for solar energy, you know what? By the next election, anybody who would run against me, and I mean anybody, would have the combined funds of all those people who did it, and he would have too. And I'm not even saying it's wrong. Because when you get that far out in front of public opinion, that's the way they let you know. So I do what everybody else does, from the lowliest congressman right on up to the president of the United States. I pick a few crucial issues that I think are crucial, part of your whole, and I persist and persist until I get somewhere in my life. And for the rest, I mark time, I wait, I go along. I trade off. This is why I don't go. Excuse me, it's what we've been talking about. You get people to eat less red meat. I ain't never red. voted in 35 years. Never voted. <laughs> How about that? I don't plan on voting either. But yeah, I got uh, one minute left on here. So, uh, got a lot of videos to run through. So, I'm going to upload these and I'm going to get right back to y'all. Peace. Love and light. Baby